Good morning, folks. Uh, Uncle Ben here, and I like to talk about the perfect electric car. It's not that car right there. That's a Chevy Bolt. I bought that car used for $14,000. It gets about 230 miles to one charge, which means if I drive to Philadelphia or Miami or Atlanta, I'm going to have to stop at a disjointed charger network and try to charge that. But you know why I don't do that? Because I also have a 2015 gas-powered V6 Acura TLX. The reason I kept the Acura is it's nine years old, it's paid off. My insurance per month in that car is about 100 bucks, so low cost of ownership. Now, the Chevy also has a low cost of ownership because I charge it off the solar on my roof. If you see behind my shoulder, that's my roof. I have uh, 32 solar panels on my roof. I put them up in 2017. And those panels essentially uh, charge, charge my car for free because the solar is paid off. The car is paid off. The other car is paid off. By the way, shout out to Dave Ramsey. Great stuff. If you have too much debt, listen to Dave Ramsey. He knows what he's talking about. So, the perfect electric car, what is it? Well, it hasn't hit the market yet. The perfect electric car is going to have three things. It's going to have a low price. It's going to be around $20,000, maybe $25,000 new. It's going to have a much higher range than 230 miles. It'll have about a 400-mile range. 500 miles be even better. And it's going to have a battery that doesn't need to be replaced under warranty. General Motors, thank God, replaced the battery in this under warranty when it had 32,000 miles on it. I bought it with 32,000 miles on it. It didn't cost me a dime for GM to replace the battery. It cost GM a lot of money. But that reliability issue is something that people worry about. The reason that the Tesla is caught on fire down here in Florida is because they had a, a nickel cobalt battery. The newer electric cars are going to have a different battery chemistry. Even the Tesla Powerwall 3, which is used as a home battery backup, it uses lithium ferrophosphate or LFP batteries. So I think the perfect electric car is probably going to have some form of an LFP battery, 400 mile range, and a low price. Let's see if I'm right. Hey, I'm recording this in late 2024. The technology is moving ahead. People talk about the death of electric cars. It's not true. We're going to have a lot of electric cars on the road by 2030. There's still going to be doubters. But let me just say this, that when Ford came out with the Model T, there were a lot of doubters, people who had horses and carriages who said automobiles were stupid. Well, it's the same thing right now. The people who doubt electric are like the people who doubted the Model T 100 years ago. So, hope you have a blessed day.